but I did. Are you guys hearing the music? <laughs> Please tell me you guys are hearing the beautiful music that's playing. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brandon. I'm designer slash gamer. Hope you enjoyed that cinematic. I spent a while making that. <laughs> All for you guys. To show you the incredible work we have done on LEGO Jurassic World. And today in this episode, we're going to take you guys on a little tour of all the stuff we've done. So, you guys ready? Here we go. Let's get in. Yeah, I put Sheila in there. She was demanding. She was demanding to be shown in the cinematic. So I included Sheila. If you guys saw her in her little truck driving down the street. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How you guys doing? Um, that actually wasn't Jurassic World music. It sounds like it, but I actually purchased that from someone who makes music that sounds similar to movies. So it's not copyrighted. How cool is that? Hello. So right now we're in the aviary. I don't know where to start this tour. Maybe we start at the beginning, but we're already over here. So if we start at the beginning, then it's not going to really work. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning. Hey, 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 no, 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 get back in here. No, 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 no. Dang it, Max. I told you we should have put a door on there. That's how they're all escaping. No, go back in. No, 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 no. <sighs> Dang it, Max. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Okay. Well, where should we start the tour? Let's start it here. 
We're gonna start the tour at the aviary. So this is the beautiful aviary. Sometimes the pteranodons stay inside, other times they don't. But they always come back. See, look, look at them crawling back in. Yeah, you want food, don't you? Your food's over there. Go get your food, it's inside the aviary. So this is the aviary. It's beautiful and it's huge. And our sweet little avi, 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 avian creatures, they have a nice little spot to relax and to wash their little wings and to swim around in the swamp water. They like it in here, I don't know why. But it's nice, especially at night because they get to look up and they get to see the beautiful stars. So, this is the aviary. What's up, buddy? And then, I guess since we're over here, you guys, we may as well visit uh, Mosasaurus Bay since we were here last week. So I didn't get around to finishing it, <laughs> but that's okay because I did other stuff and I think it looks pretty good. At some point in the distant future, we'll come back here and we'll add some more details. But for now, at the very least, you can come in here and you can watch a beautiful water show with a giant Mosasaurus. And I think someday, I think someday we'll actually build the Mosasaurus that, uh, Jonathan, you sent me a really cool Mosasaurus that we could build. So I think someday we'll go ahead and do that. But for now, this is not that day. Today we're just touring things. Uh, remember if you have a question for me, make sure you use the at and mention me because it highlights it. Alex says, how is the new Ivory Worlds nature? Uh, how is the new Ivory Worlds nature is amazing. You were lucky. Yeah. I don't know how it turned out. So you've been to the new Ivory World, Alex? It's beautiful there. You visited it a few days ago. Yeah, it's a really cool place. It took me a while to find that. I went through a lot of planets. A wild DSG speaks in the background. <laughs> I thought you guys couldn't hear the music first. I was freaking out. I was like, no, please tell me they can hear the music. Because you never know, you know, if it's working or not. But luckily, Max, all that hard work did not go to waste. Max, what do you think you're doing? Get Max. No, we have a tour to do. You are not swimming out to the Mosasaurus. He likes saying hi to Mosalisa and he likes throwing a fish in her mouth. Okay, fine, Max. But after that, we're getting back to the tour. Unbelievable. Oh, look, you left some fish in here. That's perfect. Okay, let's get another fish out and throw it. Oh, wait, we'll have to have our... No, it's okay. You know what, Max? Just break this. There you go. And hopefully the fish falls in. Okay, it's fine. Did one fall in? I don't know. It's fine. Mosalisa. <laughs> she can find those fish on her own. She'll be just fine. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. We got to continue this tour. How are we going to climb out of here? So the other thing that I haven't done yet either is the little observation room. I haven't done anything with that yet. So that's not done. But look at this beautiful place. We got trees everywhere. We got hay, hay. We got raptors escaping when they shouldn't be. I mean, it's Jurassic World. What do you expect, right? Hey, buddy. Should we ride the raptor around? Come on, buddy. Oh, that's right. We can't. This is really awkward here, Max. Let's just, oh, great, great. There we go, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no! No, 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 leave him alone, leave him alone. Run, Max, run, run, go, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is not how we were this was supposed to go down, you guys. This is not at all how it's supposed to go down. Okay, let's go in here, maybe he won't kill us. Huh. Oh good, okay, he didn't follow us. So this is going to be, someday, this is gonna be the observation room, right? So you can come down in here, you can watch the glowy squids, and you can look up at Mosalisa and see how beautiful she is. I feel like we need to spin the sky, so we're gonna to have to turn on uh, the HUD just for that. Let's turn that on for a second. And get our, get our sky spinner out, and then do this. Run, 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 I know, right? Okay, cool. Now we're gonna turn off the HUD because I like doing my little tours with the HUD off. Looks better without the HUD. Okay, let's go. Hopefully he's not still trying to attack us. We're gonna need stairs here in here at some point. Oh look, good, he's gone. 
Oof, he gave up, Max. There he is. Hi, buddy. <gasps> okay, he's coming back. Let's get out of here. All right, so this is Mosasaurus Bay, and it's pretty cool. You can sit in the stands. There's a lot of tickets, you guys. There's like thousands upon thousands of thousands of tickets, but they're very expensive. So you have to buy them in advance. Oh, Jonathan, thank you for the donation. Oh my gosh. Hype, hype. Do I have a hype button? I don't have a hype button. Do I have a hype button? I don't think I have a hype button. Thank you. DSG, when's my house being built? Soon. Soon. I gotta get on that. Uh, next. Next. <laughs> now that we're done with Jurassic World, we can finally build Jonathan's house. Jonathan is the... He's the, what are we, what are you again? You're the, you're the administrator of Jurassic World. So obviously he needs a house and it's going to have to be in Jurassic World. So we're going to put him, give him a house. Max, what do you think you're doing? Okay, fine. Get a paper and let's keep going. What's in the news today? Huh? The greatest Lego hero ever. Wow. City financial news. The greatest hero. Oh, we already read that. Oh, okay. So it's, all right. Well, that's cool. Okay, let's close that door. Max, close the door! Okay, let's keep going. So this is Mosasaurus Bay. You guys have already seen it a million times. DSG, how do you get subscribers? Um, I'm not very good at getting subscribers. <laughs> I've been doing this for like four or five years and I only have 12,000. I mean, I'm very happy that I have 12,000. But apparently I'm not that good. Other people have like... 100,000 or millions. So I don't know how to get subscribers. <laughs> Ask Mr. Beast. He'll know. Okay, so here we go, guys. We've seen the aviary. We've seen... Oh, wait, we got to check out the volcano. So there's not really any easy way to get up to the volcano. Hey, Mr. Tyranodon. So the volcano laboratory is here to make sure the, that Mount Saibo does not erupt too often or too terribly. There's really no easy way to get in here. You have to just kind of jump through the roof. And uh, this is, we only have one scientist? Oh, great. Where are the other scientists? What do you mean there's no money in the budget for more scientists? What are you talking about? But what about the volcano? What if it explodes or erupts? It's about to erupt any second? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, it's a joke? How dare you? I believed it. Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, what's your computer doing up there? Okay, let's get out of here, you guys. <laughs> okay, I feel kind of silly today. So that's Mount Saibo. That's Mount Saibo, and then that's, of course, the laboratory where we can study Mount Saibo. And let's keep going. These are all the beautiful fences that keep our dinosaurs in the park, mostly. And this is the holding area. The holding area for the uh, raptors, the velociraptors. They should still be in here, I think. Yeah, there they are. They have a weird habit of poking their heads through the walls, though. Look at that. Hey, 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 get back in there. You're not supposed to poke your head through the walls. I don't know how they do that. Stay in your cages. Are they all in here? Yeah, I think they're... Oh, wait. No, oh, some of the cages are empty. Okay. Uh, Max, maybe we should sound the alarm. There's at least five or six raptors who are on the loose. But we don't really have time to deal with that, so let's keep going. Okay, so... We need, we need doors. <laughs> Ow! Sorry, Max. So back on the street here, we're going to head down Main Street and show you guys that. See if I have any questions. Alex is the secret administrator of Legoland. Oh, you are? At some point, you guys, we have to do like a world tour because Bricksburg is just... I can't believe how big Bricksburg is. It's just astronomically huge. If you think about it, there's Jurassic World, there's Legoland, there's uh, Halloween Land, there's Downtown, there's The Neighborhood, there's Star Wars World, and there's other things I'm missing too, I'm sure. It's huge. It's ginormously huge. So today, after the stream, 
I'm going to upload Bricksburg to my website, designer gamer.com. That's the best place to go to find all my video playlists, but also of course to get Bricksburg. And if you're on PC, you can load it up. Okay, so this is Main Street. We have builds here. Some of these builds are from me. Other builds are from other people, as you guys know. These builds were made by the very talented Moimus. Um, so you guys know who that is by now, of course, but check out his channel if you haven't checked him out yet. And then, of course, we took some other builds from different parts of the game and adapted them. This is the Shark Arena. Oh, I forgot to include that in the cinematic. Dang it. So this is the Shark Arena. So this is where the sharks like to bounce. <laughs> so you can come here and watch a little shark show and relax in the bleachers. Here, Max, have a seat, buddy. There we go. Can relax in the bleachers and watch a shark show. They like to, they do, they do a lot of bouncing and it's called the, it's called the bouncy shark show. Max is getting bored already. Look at him. It's the bouncy shark show. They bounce, but the bounces might look like they're kind of not that exciting but there's a rhythm and a pattern to all the bouncing. So it it's actually very planned out. Hey, look, there's a raptor in there. Uh, Jonathan, thank you for the donation. My goodness. <laughs> okay, so here's what Jonathan says. I'm the owner of Jurassic Park and I ordered Max around and told him to build this whole thing. After I bought a few acres of land, I asked Max to make a park to my liking. DSG is the owner. I can tell more scientists are coming on their way. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Isn't that true, Max? Max says yes. <laughs> Should we go swimming in the shark pool? Hey, sharkies. It's nice being in sandbox because they don't kill you. So we used to have sharks in the tank too and they like to go through those little giant hoops, but there's no sharks in there right now. And thank you for subscribing, whoever did. <laughs> and let's get some hype in the chat for Jonathan's extremely generous donation to Jurassic World. Oops. <laughs> Max is getting a little overzealous here. So we also have the helicopter in the sky, you guys. Look at that. That keeps Jurassic World nice and safe. I feel like we're gonna have to spin the sky again soon. Let's go ahead and do that. HUD interface on. Spin the sky, Max. Thank you for the other follow too. I think we're getting some followers, that's great. And Alex, thank you for the donation. You guys are so nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's turn the HUD back off and let's see the rest of the park. We still have a lot to see, you guys. A lot to see still. Okay, so Main Street. This is where you come if you want to buy uh, clothes and things and you can go in and check out the headquarters and see what's going on with all the dinosaurs. And there's restaurants too. You can hang out, eat over here in this restaurant. And you can see the rest of Bricksburg. You can even see the Ivory Tower from here. So let's say you sit in this table and you eat your little dinner. You can look up at the ivory tower across the way. Pretty cool view. And then of course we have the uh, arcade right here. Max was in here playing one of the arcade games and he saw a Triceratops. I wonder if she's still in there in the corner. She's still in here. No, she's gone. <laughs> there was a Triceratops in here earlier. And there was a raptor like poking his head through over there. It's a fun place, you guys. You never know what to expect in Jurassic World. All right, we're going to go this way, and we're going to check out the rest of this stuff. So we saw Main Street. Let's check out the uh, Raptors Research Facility. That's right over here. Take a hard left. And you got to go through the security doors. They do this to make sure no, the, none of the Raptors escape. Okay, there we go. And the raptors are in here. Look at him. <laughs> there should be more than one in there. But that's where they hang out and that's where we study them. Do you see that's Max's payment for building Jurassic Park? Did you hear that, Max? You got paid for this. You thought you were doing it for free. Isn't that amazing? He says that's amazing. Thank you, Jonathan. His next order is to build the orange Mandan house after the tour, of course. Yes, of course after the tour and 
off stream because I'll have to figure out what kind of house and where to put it. It's going to require some planning, right, Max? Some serious planning. What kind of experiments are going on over here? We got to defund these scientists. I don't know what they're doing. What are you guys? Do? They're all rogue now at this point, I feel like. All right, so up here, I guess we don't have a stairway to get up here. But if you are able to get up here on the second level, you can go... Oh! oh! Max, be careful. <laughs> if you're able to get to the second level, you can go out here onto the ramp or onto the uh, walkway and you can see the raptors from up here. There's only one down there. We got to put some more in here, you guys. Hang on. Let's put some more in here. It can't just be one rat. Like, how are we going to study one raptor? That's not going to work too well. Okay, where are they? Velociraptor. Here they are. Ready? Okay, I'll put one there. One there. One there. One down there. Okay, good. <gasps> ah! Max, what are you doing? Buddy, can you go down there? Oh, good. Okay, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> so now we got a bunch of raptors that we can observe and see how they interact with each other. So that's good. So that's the Raptors uh, research facility. Next thing we could do is check out the hotel. Right, Max? So the hotel, oh wait, no, we skipped something. There's a few things actually. So before we go to the hotel, there's also this really cool monkey enclosure made by our friend, Super Gaming Tippy. He does a lot. He's still building a lot of Lego Worlds things, you guys. And you guys know who that is, but check out his channel if you haven't yet. Look, he made actual monkeys. It's pretty cool. I love the monkey thing. And then this is a bird thing, I think, with birds. Yeah, see, there's birds in there. A bird enclosure. And then this one, I don't know what this one is. Is this snakes? Oh, yeah, we put snakes in here, I think. I can hear the snakes, like, doing their thing. There's, like, at least one snake. Oh, yeah, there he is. There's one snake down there. All right, and then over here, made by our friend uh, Pedro Productions, these are the mobile, the mobile research vans. So right now they're parked by the Raptors Research Facility. But these are amazing. They're so detailed. You can conduct research in here. You can eat. You can relax. You can drive the thing. And you can probably even sleep in here if you get tired. And there's even a toilet. That's so perfect. Max, what are you doing? Max! Max, are you okay? Max? You guys, we gotta get we gotta fix this plumbing. This is this is bad. Max? I'm tr I don't know. I can't do anything to help you, buddy. You're kind of on your own. Oh, good. Oh, gross. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, so those are the mobile research facilities. And they're very helpful. Uh, are we lost? Oh, this way. So if you guys noticed, I've put palm trees and tropical plants and vineys everywhere to give a really nice... Uh, jungly vibe to everything so let's keep going yeah sounds good Jonathan I will we'll figure out we will figure out what to do with your house you should send me some inspiration images on discord I think you already did but remind me what you want it to look like and we'll go from there so this is the triceratops arena ready guys well arena it's an enclosure I guess so I used the castle, the castle kit <laughs> and I painted it green and orange and it looks really cool. And there's like a few, see right over there, there's a few triceratops. They don't do much. They just kind of stand there, but they have a little area like where they can drink water. There's a mangrove tree and there's some rocks back here where they can hide and they can sharpen their horns on the rocks back there if they want. So we pretty much have every dinosaur in the game represented in here. And then of course, other non-dinosaurs as well. All right, now we're going to head over to the hotel, which is up here. So you go up these steps and over here, and you are in the Safari, Safari, Safari Lodge Hotel. 
So you go and you check in at the front desk. I mean, look at this, you guys. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. You go and check in at the front desk. Oh, sorry, Max. And they will give you a room key, assuming they're working. They'll give you a room key. And you can go to your room or you can go to the amazing restaurant. Is there even a way to get to the restaurant? Oh, sorry, Max. How do we get to the restaurant? <laughs> oh, it's the side entrance. All right. So Max chose this room. Because he likes the view. He likes the view of Jurassic World over here. And he likes to watch the raptors play. So this is the one he chose. And you, you can see the Triceratops, kind of, from here, too. So once you get your key and you go to your room, then you can go down here and go into the side entrance of the restaurant. Which I think is back here? Yeah, here it is. We'll have to make a main entrance, because right now we only have a side entrance. <laughs> Alright, so here is the Safari... The Safari Lodge Restaurant. And my favorite place to eat is up here in the upper level, because you've got this incredible open air ceiling and a really nice view of the entire park through all those shutters. We should spin the guy sky again, you guys. Okay, so it's kind of hard for me to pay attention to the chat while I'm also doing a tour. <laughs> so you guys will have to forgive me if I don't answer. Realistically horrifying. Hello, I have been a fan for so long. The only thing that makes me sad is the amount of watchers. Why are there only six? <laughs> um, I don't usually stream on Thursdays. Usually I stream on Wednesdays and usually I stream at 2 p.m. So I kind of threw everyone off this week. Usually we have more watch. Usually it's closer to like 30 watchers when we do a Wednesday stream. So I think that's probably why. <laughs> But that's okay. Most of my views come from after the stream gets posted anyway. So you guys look, if you want to, you can also eat outside here in the Safari Lodge restaurant. So pretty cool. All right, so is that it? Oh wait, there's still the Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom, which I actually finished. So we're gonna hop down here. We're gonna hop down, oh, sorry, Max. <laughs> So you guys remember the main entrance gate is right there. So when you come in from Bricksburg, you can come in the main entrance gate and you can either go down to Main Street or you can go up this way to Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom. And I finally finished it. So I finished all of the walls so the Tyrannosaurus Rexes cannot escape. They are, they're in and they can't escape. So now it's like fully, fully designed, right? So we got lots of T-Rexes living in here. Hey guys, careful Max. Oh, oh. Be nice, Mr. T-Rex. So there's like, there's tropical plants everywhere and there's water, they can swim, they can do whatever they want in Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I feel like what we should probably do is now do an aerial view of everything. So we're going to spawn in a Pteranodon. We're going to spawn in a Pteranodon and we are going to fly. We're going to fly through the kingdom. And we are going to check it out from above. Ready? Okay. Don't fly away. Please don't fly away. Please don't fly away. Don't fly away. Don't fly away. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hey, no. Stay, 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 stay. No, no, no. Don't, don't fly away. Stay. Maybe he'll land in a second. Sometimes they land after a few seconds. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Pteranodon. Oh, good. Ugh. Come on. Oh, I tried pressing Q. It didn't work. Come on, buddy. He'll land. He's going to get tired in a second. You can land on the tree. Oh, here we go. Hey, buddy. Yes. Yes. Good job, Max. We did it. We did it. All right, so here is Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom. How do we change the view so it's not moving around on me? Let me change the camera view to uh, tracking. Is that what I want? Maybe I want tracking. Harrison Toys, thank you so much for the donation. My son Harrison loves your videos and wanted to say hello. Hello, Harrison. 
Yeah, we'll go to the front and we will fly through from the front. How about that? Let's start at the very beginning. So Bricksburg, Bricksburg is right across the river here. And when you enter Jurassic World, we're going to see if we can fly through the bridge. I don't know if we'll be able to, but we're going to try. <laughs> we're going to try. Oh, there we go. So there's the front gate to Jurassic World. And then you go up. And over here is Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom. That's the Safari Lodge restaurant and the Safari Lodge Hotel. And then this is the uh, Raptors Research Facility. Over here is Main Street. We got shops. We got restaurants. We got a giant T-Rex billboard. We got a uh, arcade. We got a helicopter. Careful, Max. Why is there a stingray on the helicopter? <laughs> I didn't even get up there. Okay, so continuing along. That's Ninjago City out that way. Out this way is the uh, Mosasaurus Bay. This is probably the biggest attraction we have in the entire park, is Mosasaurus Bay. And then, of course, over this way, we have the Raptors holding area. We have the Shark Tank. We have the Volcano, Mount Saibo. We've got the Volcanic Research Facility. And last but not least, we have the Aviary back here. So that's it, you guys. That's Jurassic World. It's amazing that we built all of this from just a flat, completely flat world. <laughs> Like, it's incredible. So thank you to everyone who contributed buildings to this and ideas and suggestions. It's a culmination of work from a lot of different people, including myself and a lot of other talented builders. So thank you so much. So that's Jurassic World. So we're going to take a break from Jurassic World. I have one more building to build in here. Ooh, you okay, buddy? Where are you going? <gasps> Uh-oh. They're getting territorial. He wants to go say hi to his friend. <laughs> He's like literally running by himself. I think my key is getting stuck. <laughs> that's it you guys anyway so next time next time we'll be working on a house and then after that we're going to move to a different part of Bricksburg I haven't quite decided what to work on yet actually no maybe after that we'll do a world tour of Bricksburg and then I will pick what to work on next because I'm not really sure I think I want to work on a new district somewhere in Bricksburg but I'm not exactly sure like which which one I want to work on. So we'll have to think about that. If you guys have suggestions, go ahead and let me know what your suggestions are. Um, Discord is the best place to suggest in the Lego, the Lego thread. My donation was my taxes to Bricksburg. Max, you have to pay me better. I get $7 a month, Max. <laughs> Max likes hanging out in Ninjago City, you guys. I hope we don't alarm anyone with this raptor, or raptor, with this uh, pteranodon that we're bringing to Ninjago City here. <laughs> I love that you can see Bricksburg from Ninjago City. It's the perfect place. Like, we picked the perfect spot. Uh, that You can see Jurassic World from Ninjago City. We picked the perfect spot for it, I think, next to Ninjago City. Innovation Center. Good idea. I know there's a million things that we still could add. To our Jurassic World. So when I say it's done, it's not done. Like we're going to add to it. But we might take a break from it for a little while to focus on other things. So we'll see. We shall see. Okay, my friends. We're going to end the video with that cinematic that I made in the beginning. So if you missed it, now's your chance to see the cinematic again. And uh, please always subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the like button. Ding that little bell. So you get notified whenever I upload a video. I'll be back next week. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Enjoy the cinematic. Oops.
Wrong button.